Hi guys. Hey all. Today I'm going to show you the changes I've made to the breathing pens. I have shuffled a few people around, uh, a few chickens around. <laughs> and we're also going to be showing you where we're at with our new breeding pen. Uh, this will be the second video installment, I think, of where we're at. We're getting close. And um, yeah, it's been a pretty fun project. So you get to uh, get updated on that. This is the back wall for the breeding pen and we use quarter inch hardware cloth and I also use screws with washers. This helps to provide some security from predators. If this is your first time here and you're looking for tips on taking care of silky chickens, breeding silky chickens, or just love watching silky chickens, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Hey guys, you're catching me right in the middle of the project. In the middle of the project. This is our uh, our over under duplex um, chicken breeding. Help me out, honey. <laughs> breeding pen. Breeding pen. And we practiced this ahead of time. This is our breeding pen. It's an over under duplex. We're finishing up um, not all the framing. We want to get the flooring in before we finish the uh, the upper framing. And this side of it here, we came up with a great idea last night. This will be fully removable panels. And we're using, um, we got kind of, I call it a dungeon door enclosure or a lock system for our main, um, for the main coop. We're gonna do sim something similar here. Um, so when you pull them, these panels will be fully removable. You'll see. Most of the framing, we're gonna leave the upper part and the side kind of open until we get our flooring in. And um, then we've been playing around with some ideas that ultimately are gonna help Rebecca with the clean out. That's kind of the main thing is to um, improve our, our the, the intelligence of our design as we go. And um, we really came up with some good ideas with this one. Um, she'll have full access to this side for cleaning out and then she'll have full access to the front side for the more day-to-day -day operational side of things. So anyways, I got a couple more screws to zip in and then uh, we'll move on. So our rough measurements of the, uh, of the breeding pen, roughly four feet by six feet. Uh, we'll be able to house a breeding flock below and a breeding flock above. And um, there'll be a, um, a bedding area just in the front and then really the side and the back half from really the center of my body back is going to be a, a caged in enclosure for them to get out and about when um, they're not entirely out and about so there'll be living space and um, and roaming space for them. So this is Johnny's breeding pen, and he's a black rooster, and he's got June, who's a black hen, and Miley, who is a splash. So Johnny's pen produces black and blue chicks. Johnny's flock used to have Daisy in it, who was another splash, but I ended up just getting so many eggs from these guys, and that means I'm just gonna have this influx of black and blues that I wanted more splash in the mix. So I moved Daisy to Ozzy's flock. Those of you who have watched our videos before, you'll recognize this handsome boy. He's Ozzy and he's our blue rooster. So Daisy is now with him. I moved her over and he has Cindy too, who is also a blue hen. So this pen is what's called a BBS. And that means that these genetics produce blue, black, and splash chicks. So I needed some more of the splash, so that's why I moved Daisy over. Gonna have to apologize for the noise in the background. Bill is working on that breeding pen still. This is our silver white breeding flock. And 
the names of the girls we've decided are Jaja and Ava for the Gabor sisters. But we need help with the little rooster name. So give us an idea down in the comments and see what you think. These guys are too young to produce yet, but we're hoping to get babies later in the summer. And this is our gold white flock. We have Freddie, and the little girl with him is Cher. This is another pair that we're hoping to at least see some babies in late summer, early fall. But they are still young, just under eight months old. Hi, Edie. No, I don't have any treats. Sorry. Those of you who have watched our videos before, you guys will recognize these guys. This is our pet flock, and it's Ash's flock. In my last video, we were integrating Elvis back into this flock. She had been out of it for a couple of months. I had put her in a dog crate in just outside this sleeping quarters, and she was able to see the flock. The flock was able to see her in about a week. They were fine and I was able to remove her from that crate and they've been great ever since. Gronk is in the sleeping quarters so she's still here. She's just busy at the moment. Bill also got our electric fencing up because we've heard that the bears are awake. Do you guys see this little red squirrel? He is stealing our prayer flags. Look at that. They're the cutest creature. Look, he's just ripping at it. I love it. We have 25 chicks living in our bedroom. 15 of the chicks are the chicks that we hatched out of eggs that we got from another breeder. I ended up getting uh, eight chicks from another breeder and they are white and paint and there's one black. And as you can see, they're all in this one pen. So I'm actually kind of amazed. It was an experiment. I've heard people say that they do it, but there are three week old in here. There are four week to five week old in here. And then there's actually a little hen that is three months old and there's no picking on or anything. And we actually have two incubators that have eggs in them. These are eggs from our farm and everybody's been a little on the slow side. But I've got more going in today. We really hoped you enjoyed this video, you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for coming by, everybody. Like and share and subscribe. See ya. Bye. So, uh... The I don't know what we what fins. Hey gang, catching us right in the middle of our uh, of our duplex uh, chicken breeding chicken breeder. Got it. Chicken breeding pen. Chicken breeding pen. <laughs> one of these times I'll get it first try. You guys are always seeing the one try. But it's been a